Look, I know I, I understand. Listen. Stop. Right. This is it. Thank you, my friend. All right. What do we do now? Run like hell. Exchange for Shunin for him. Uh, it seems a bad bargain, I agree. If we'd given him bubonic plague, it would have been fairer. For ten years, he gave us more than anyone else behind the Iron Curtain. I still wouldn't trust him. And neither does MI6. And that's why they asked us to handle the exchange and the debriefing. What, well, the debriefing as well? Our boys didn't even reveal their own agents to check him out. Don't like it. Nobody likes it. And that's presumably why the whole basis of the exchange is total secrecy on both sides. And how long's that going to stay a secret? Shunin's capture was headline news, and now we've exchanged him for Batak. That'll soon come out. Not before Batak's been debriefed. Which could take weeks. Now, the denoter should muzzle the press for a while. However, there is a more immediate problem, and that is your problem. Very nice. Batak's daughter. Anna Hastings, British subject. The result of a liaison over 20 years ago when we first recruited Batak. Passport held at present in interest of national security. Their officials have been allowing her to visit her father in jail every year. She was due to make the trip again this week. What nobody wants to happen is for her to go over there and find out he's disappeared. So until he's debriefed, she mustn't know he's in this country. Oh, she's a music student. She's the only fly in the ointment.
cheated. Fooled me. Who are you? John Hare. Evening Star. You're Anna Hastings? Yes. May I buy you a coffee? Yes, all right. A, a series on youth, the positive side. Uh, I thought the press would be more interested in drugs and dropouts. Okay. Well, they have to space it out a bit. Can't give them too much of a bad thing. So, I'm not going to be on page three. It'd be a new kind of page three girl. Fully clothed? Yeah. Well, what would you like to know? Yes? Send him in. George Cowley. I was beginning to wonder if you really existed. I think you have many reports to prove it. Indeed we have. I had hoped perhaps my daughter... Would... All in good time. I hope so. You are? Ah, thank you. Right. Now, when you won the Warsaw Prize, you were reported as being Bulgarian. Well, my mother was English. I took her name. I'm illegitimate. We won't use that. It wouldn't matter. Sugar? Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, I'll use this one. Okay. Was. You said your mother was. Yes, she died two years ago. And your father? Well, he's alive, as a matter of fact. Yes? No. Something. What's his name? Bartak. Stefan Bartak. B A T A K. Yeah. Okay. And uh, where's he? He's in the Eastern Bloc. Really? But we thought they got rid of Polnikov over a year ago. That was what they meant you to think. He went underground. And opened the sub agency in Moscow. Leningrad. I already said Leningrad. Yes. Yes, of course. So, father went back behind the Iron Curtain and mother stayed here with me. Room for me? Sure. Michael, this is John Hare. He's from... What paper did you say? Evening Star. Hello. He wants to do an article about me. You heard her play? Yes, a little. Not really. What did you think? Very impressive. It was the Masurka. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Chopin, Mr. Blair? Not Blair. Hair. Mm. Hair like head or like rabbit? Michael. Like Burke and... There are many small cells, perhaps a hundred of them, between South Africa and Siberia. And not in the United States? The US, like Britain, France and West Germany, is handled by Alexei Androff. I think you already know that, Mr. Carvey. We've been watching an Alitalia pilot, uh, Bonetti. Ever heard of him in relation to Soviet intelligence? I never heard that particular name. They recruit many airline employees. Perhaps we can compile a list. Suspects, not certainties. Airlines lay outside my department. A suspects are always helpful. Indeed they are. Where did your parents meet? New York. They both work for the United Nations. Obviously, I wasn't expected. In fact, I suppose my appearance wrecked the whole affair. Excuse me a moment. You see a boyfriend? Mike? No, but he gets 10 out of 10 for trying. Studying here? Mm. London University, they're doing a linking course. History of music. Paul, contact's been made. Claims to be a journalist. Maybe legit. Evening star, John Hare. There is no doubt, of course, that the Russians encourage the heroin trade in the West. There is a direct link between Odessa and Amsterdam. You know a great deal, Mr. Batak. You're a lucky man. Lucky to be alive. You could so easily have been shot while attempting to escape. I owe my life to Vashunin. If you in the West had not held him, I would certainly have been dead a year ago. In fact, the director of prosecutions, Jagev, actually demanded the death penalty, didn't he? Jagev was state attorney, not director of prosecutions. 
Can you be setting traps for me, Mr. Carney? And where is he now? My father? Yeah. In jail. In jail? You know what these countries are like. He said the wrong thing to the wrong person. Phew. And what did he do before? Civil servant, police department. But you're still in touch with him? Well, yes, I've been over quite a few times since Mother died. In fact, I will be going over again on the 14th if the passport office wasn't being so difficult. <laughs> What's the problem? God knows. I spent half my life down in that concentration camp in Petit France, pushing them when I should be practicing. Hey, if you do this story, you could maybe mention it. That might do the trick. Yeah, why not? share one phone. It's pretty chaotic. I'll probably contact you here anyway. It's all up to my editor, of course. I think he'll go for it. I hope so. In this racket, you can't start publicity too soon. Racket? I thought it was supposed to be art. Oh, hang on to your illusions. I can't afford to. Oh, there you are. What happened to your lecture? Missed it. Oh, my God, I was wrong. Where will you be? Practice room four. Good luck with your exams. Thanks. How do I get out of this place? Where's your car? Canning Street. It's a shortcut. I'll show you. She's quite a girl. You like her a lot, don't you? Is it that obvious? Yeah. She's head over heels in love anyway. With the piano? Right. Door at the end, there's another staircase, leads directly to Canning Street. Right. Mr. Hare, don't move. And who the hell are you? About the girl you were talking to. There's a better story there than you can imagine. Like what? Her father's name is Stefan Batard. Yeah, she told me, so what? Doesn't that mean anything to you? No. Should it? The British government has just received Stefan Batard in exchange for Andrei Vashunin. A oh, dear Andrei Vashunin. You can check it out with the legation. It was a straight deal between the British and Bulgarian governments. Then Vashunin's already left Britain. You mentioned earlier Soviet encouragement of international drug traffic. Does it extend to the United States? Certainly. It's the only area where the communists and the mafia are in close cooperation. Well, in that case, surely you're... Sir. Excuse me. Whoever it is, they know of attacks free and in London. And they want to blow the whistle. They being who? Bulgarians. Why? They haven't leaked a single word about getting Vashunin back. They've kept to their side of the deal. Well, who else could it be, then? Well, if it is the Bulgarians, they must know we've got a D-notice on the story. But they would also know that that D-notice won't protect us for very long. Then they're in a hurry. But why? A good question. How's Patak shaping up? I'm still checking. He forgot we changed his contact twice in 76. Understandable. And he's still confusing some of his Russian shipping reports. Yeah, well, we all do that sometimes. What about that guy, Michael, the girl's boyfriend? Are you busy? No. No, I want you to back off, both of you. Everything's still going according to plan. We stand by our side of the bargain as long as they stand by theirs. Well, what about his tip-off? Fellow on the stairs. He's already whispered in his ear. If we do nothing about it, he may do something else. Where am I being taken? Somewhere safe. We'll be living for the next few weeks. Will my daughter be there? Right now. Mr. Cowley managed to evade that question. When may I expect to see her? There are a few complications. You mean security? Yeah, sort of. If I told Anna the situation, I assure you she would say nothing, particularly if she knew that my personal safety was at stake. Would you take that risk in our position? Probably not. 
She's a very talented girl, Your Honor. You met her? Yes. What did she play? A mazurka. Oh, idiot. I don't like this! <laughs> Which one? Second window above the cat! Doyle? Yeah, what's happening? He's got away. What about Super Spy? Oh, he's all right. Hello, oh, what's that noise? Sound of a D-note is biting the dust. Come on, sir. Now, please come on. Now, who are you? No, it's like... Hey, what's going on? No, excuse me. Who are you? Just read this, please. All right, sir. Quickly, All right. get these crowds away. Wait, come Just on, run. get some pictures. Are you Stefan Parker? Yeah. Get out of it! Get out of here! Get out of here! Come on, get him! Get him! Get him! I'm sorry, I repeat, it'll be my decision. Yes, goodbye. How is he? He's tired, old, and he's just been shot at. They shot at the car. Missed attack by inches. Okay, the first one was on target, but the others, once you got out, were all over the place. Don't have to tell me, I felt them. And if a real professional had done that, he'd have stayed on target, wouldn't he, and sprayed the back of a car? Yeah. You also have chosen a better place. And the point is, whether or not it was a serious attempt to kill him, it was a successful attempt to get his name wired around the world. We're still denying it, aren't we? Until when? Now that the suspicion is out, hundreds of agents throughout the world are going to be in great danger. Until we confirm it one way or the other. So what are we waiting for? These are some of the returns we've had and some of Attack's answers. They don't all check out. Everything is going according to plan. <clears throat> Miss Hastings, have you seen the papers? You mean about my father? Yes. Do you mind if we talk somewhere? All right. Come on. They picked her up now. 4-5 to Alpha Charlie. Roger, 4-5. Proceed as planned. I'm bringing her in. You're not really a newspaper reporter, are you, Mr. Hare? Not really. I suppose you're not even Mr. Hare. I suppose not. Hmm. Well, it explains all the trouble about my passport. A reporter. Hmm. I really fell for that one. Look, I'm no judge, but uh, the way you play that piano, you don't need publicity. You think so? You don't even need a piano. I'm going to take you to somebody who will answer your questions about your father. You want to know what happened, don't you? Happened. Don't worry. Come on. There is no doubt, of course, that the Russians encourage the heroin trade in the West. There is a direct link between Odessa and Amsterdam. You know a great deal, Mr. Batak. You're a lucky man. <laughs> All right, he's one of ours. You can wait in there. Cowley wants you.
Are you another journalist, like him? He's a music reporter. Oh. And what are you? Fashion. Haute couture. I owe my life to Vashunin. If you in the West had not held him, I would certainly have been dead a year ago. The prosecution's Jagef actually demanded the death penalty, didn't he? Jagef was the state attorney, not the director of prosecutions. Three seven. Right. All right, Mr. Vatak. That will do for now. Think you know your own way by now. Surprise, surprise. Wait. Anna. I'm worried for a minute. Oh, well, we're not all as demonstrative as you, are we? Anna. See? All in one piece. Oh, don't make jokes like that. How can a creature like him have a daughter like that? Well, we're not quite sure about her yet, are we? I don't understand. The British wanted to keep the exchange I'll tell you something. She doesn't know much about her father. Makes my flesh crawl just to watch him. Joseph Stalin was a family man. Look what happened to his daughter. <laughs> oh, you're trouble, don't you? Underneath that hard shell, you're just a great big softy. Maybe so. so. But it's the outside that slays them, isn't it? I only have a tiny bedsitter, but there's a big couch I can sleep on as soon as they let you Some go. Someone's doubt about that. Oh, right, boy. Cowley here. I want a press conference right away. Somewhere spectacular. Like the, the Savoy Hotel. You'll be fine. What am I to say? Or rather, not to say. I've got a note of areas to avoid, which means practically everything. We'll go over it in the way. It's very simple. When will I see him again? Very soon. We still have some ground to cover. It has to be done. Where will he be staying? We'll let you know. Right, shall we go? Keep practicing. He'll run you back. So I'm to be delivered with the famous roast beef. The Savoy has a nice tradesman's entrance. Very private. Say, I'm sorry, I cannot discuss that. As often as possible. Freedom of the Western press. They can print what they like. We don't have to give them information. I see I can openly speak of the Russian intervention. <laughs> What's the matter? I... Nothing. I... The Russian intervention. <laughs> Bodhi, hospital fast. He's having some kind of attack. Fail's the nearest. <laughs> Let's see, Bodhi. He's not fast. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't I'll get worry. him. I'll get him. Come Possible 
Pulse 150, breathing very bad. Have you oxygen? No. Try to stop him losing consciousness. How soon can you get him here? Well, about five to ten minutes. Oh, no, they wouldn't try it again. Come on, mate! Hang on, mate, what's wrong with you? Listen, I've got a hospital case in here. You'll be a bloody hospital case in a minute, you keep on. Okay, it's on the move now, hang on. Betray. Betray? Did you say betray? Who betrays? Slow down. What's up? It's too late. There won't be many flowers on his grave. Thanks, <laughs> coronary. All right, all right. Whatever they said back in there, we know he was got at. Ah, oh, but now no one's been near him. The daughter. You'll be fine. Ah, oh, she'd have to be good with her hands. She's a concert pianist. She's good with her hands. Forensic Cowley. Yes. Well, call me as soon as you do. They've eliminated five groups of poisons. Another five to go, eh? You're Bulgarian. How did it happen? Well, it was a heart attack, apparently. It's not been confirmed yet. You were with him? Yeah. On our way to the press conference. You know, under English law, the deceased should be identified by the next of kin. Is that what I have to do now? Not yet. Still have to do some tests. This is 4-5. I'm following him north. Why would anyone have wanted to kill my father? You're not serious. I am serious. Tell me why. You mean you've no idea? I don't know who your father was. What are you getting at? I don't believe it. Personally responsible for the deaths of over 100 agents. I don't believe it. Recruited by the CIA in New York, that was when you were born. Ten years later, he crossed over and scores of agents were eliminated. After another ten years, he changed sides again. This time, it was their turn. Their agents hit it. Seven a base. Uh, taking it to my place. Can you send me someone? Six two. Yeah, he'll do. Now. out of tormenting me. Seven. Alpha, the toxin's been identified. What is it? Triadine. It acts within 20 minutes of entering the bloodstream. Yeah, I know. It couldn't have been given to him more than half an hour before he died. Yeah. Yeah, she's still here. Right.
So, you poisoned Stefan Batak, eh? We've got you on film doing it. What? When you ran your fingers through his hair. It's very good, though. That's absolutely insane. Is it? I've just discovered I'm married to my country, you know. Doyle, are you all right? You know, I think we ought to go into the film business. We've got the world exclusive rights to something here. Four five, do you need help? No, I'm coming back to base out. You're wrong. You're so wrong. Come on, we all know about triadine. What's that? The name of an opera? Causes a massive heart attack within 20 minutes of application. Now, we should know we developed it. Look, even if he did do some of the terrible things you say he did, do you honestly think I'd kill my own father? No. Of course you wouldn't. How could you? Where's the real Anna Hastings? Huh? Oh, did you use to try Dean on her, too? Okay, now straighten the arm. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the wrist. Okay. Okay, fine. I was filming her boyfriend. See, somebody didn't approve. Now, shoulders right back and breathe deeply. Thanks. All right. All right, thanks. That was the lab report. You overexposed, as usual. Well, what do they expect? Cecil beaten. Uh, nothing broken. Do it. You, uh, you mentioned the Hampstead, please. Yeah. See if this rings a bell. Keen's Lodge. Keen's Lodge? Yeah, Persian millionaire sold it, remember? And bought by Anonymous? Yeah, Sotheby's flogged the contents for two million. We staked it out for ten weeks, nothing. Shh, well, you should just see it now. It's got heavies with bulging overcoats, guard dogs, the lot. He went from the college to Hampstead, then to Redmond's School. Number eight. Where he met this other chap? Yeah, well, my impression was that he went to Keen's Lodge looking for this bloke, then got redirected to number eight. That's a lot of running around. Yeah, and a strong aversion to using the telephone. They're obviously looking for the girl. Well, they did seem panicked, yeah. They know we've got her. Maybe they think she's going to crack. Why should it matter? Batak's been killed. The omission's accomplished. They should have gone underground. It's all wrong. Is that them? You've got a nerve. Hey. Don't let her out of your sight for two minutes. No phone calls, and if she gets rough, watch those claws. It'll be deadly. 37 to Alpha. Come in, 37. Couldn't crack her on it. What's her story on the Michael fellow? Nothing. She clammed up? Yeah, like a real pro. Where are you now? I got tired of the sound of my own voice. I've left her with 6-2. I'm going out to check her flat. They may be watching it. 
Ah, oh, just use my Bulgarian mojo. What's that? Oh, it's a cross between a force beam and a poisoned umbrella. Out. I never heard that particular name. Does the bald one mean anything to you? No. Could you hear what language you spoke? Too far away. What do we know about that house, number eight? Well, the house checks out legitimately. They wouldn't send out two thugs to grab the film unless there was something on it. Right, run it again, please. That's true. They know we've seen that Michael bloke. Must be the other one. Olaf, get a blow up of the bald headed man. Send it over to C11 as fast as you can. Yes. Yeah. Have they? Yeah, right away. Okay, thanks. Car was rented a week ago. Cash deposit, the police have got the detail. Uh, it's too hot, they have got rid of it already. Well, maybe they don't train them as well as you do. Oh, C-11. Top priority photo identification. Assignment SB-50 coming to you. Did we find any more about that hamster, please? Not a lot. Apparently having a new wing built, so all that coming and going is disguised by builders' vans, decorators and so on. Nobody actually gets into the house. Except people like friend Michael. Yeah, exactly. The new owner hasn't shown up yet, but the locals say that uh, the security guards are protecting valuable content. It's like a hot line to the Kremlin, eh? Mori, did you find anything? Nothing, except this. What happened to you? I was doing some cinema verite. Somebody hit me with the kitchen sink. <laughs> Who's that? Not Batak. Oh, it could be before he went to prison. Younger, fatter. Could be one of his brothers. He had two. Hmm. Where did you find it? Uh, inside a book of Beethoven sonatas. Do you reckon she put it there? Well, I doubt it. I mean, it could be a bookmark. Uh, it? Anyway, it's not evidence, let alone proof of anything. Bodhi, bring the girl in. Send Vic to seal off her flat and stay watching it. You better run that film again. Perhaps it'll jog your memory. Play it again, Fred. Must have been the guard dog. Right, come on, matter, hurry, let's go. Go where? Would you believe it? I'm taking you to see my leader. Haven't you played this silly game enough? The silly game, sweetheart, was played by you. You had a life, a career ahead of you, and now you've blown it. What was it? Money? Blackmail? Or maybe it was love? Come in, 3-7. I think I found it. Come and see. Something's happened to Bodhi. I can't raise him. Probably taking piano lessons. All right, look at this. Thanks, Fred. See, it wasn't anything to do with keeping Baldy out of the gossip columns. Yeah, hold it there. I think that's the man in the photograph. In fact, I'm sure it is. There's no doubt about it. It's the same man already. I think that's Stefan Batak. The dead man at Batak's prints. Could have been switched. The dead man's for Batak's years ago. Which means he could still be alive. And living in London. At 8 Redmond Square. I never saw why the Bulgarians ever wanted to give up Stefan Batak, the real one. 
Blue Eyed Boy, the KGB. Oh! All that publicity. We announce we have him back. We certify him dead. Batak's free to do his dirty work. Akali here. I want backup at Redmond Square, fully armed immediately. All personnel to stand by. I'll RT the exact location when I get there. Right, OK. Alpha. Seven. Oh, I've been trying to reach you. What happened? I've lost the girl, sir. Are you all right? Yeah, I've just uh, taken a crash course. Forget about the girl. Meet us at Redmond Square right away. We have a rendezvous with Stephen Batak. Quick as you can, right. They fixed the fingerprint records years before. The switch is arranged, and instead of the real Batak, we get a phony. And the daughter is replaced as well. Right. And the substitute daughter bumps off the phony agent. Then if the girl who bumped off the phony Batak is one of their agents, why did they waste their time snatching her back? Little human loyalty among the mechanics? Enough to risk their lives against the likes of Bodhi. Maybe his reputation doesn't extend as far as Sophia. Oh, it's about time you took the Bulgarian seriously. Saved my life. Have I? Would I lie to you? Who was the other man? Man? The man who pretended to be you. Anna, there are a lot of things you do not know about. Important things. Father, I must know. They said he was murdered. Is that true? No. Believe me, I'm telling you the truth. They said such terrible things about him. Anna, these people are telling lies. I'll fill you in later. You just can't keep your women, can you? She had to be dragged away from me. Okay. Move in now. Somebody left in a hurry. Maybe you used ultraviolet film. Mason, I want a red alert, all air and seaports. Stefan Batak, travelling under alias. C-11 of updated description, all previous details false. Maybe travelling with a young woman. His daughter. Out. What now? King's Lodge. Where else? <laughs> American passports for both of us, and social security cards. Anna, these are real, not forgeries. We have been guaranteed new lives together. In America? Yes. Texas first, where I shall be working, and you can continue your studies. But I love this country. All my friends are here. All my teachers. They have the greatest teachers in the world. You know that. Namaste, los What does that mean? 
We have very little time. Alpha. We have an urgent report from Forensic on Batac. Give it to me. The capsule has been found which contained the toxin. Implanted under skin. Chemical time trigger identified. Estimated life four days. Some greater details. Shall I read them? No, that's enough, thanks. Bastards. When Bodie picked him up at the border, he was already as good as dead. She didn't kill him. Now they get Bashoon and we get a corpse. And they used the real daughter to clinch it. Three sevens is four five. Yeah. Forensic report. She didn't kill him. Do you think that'll restore his faith in human nature? It may shatter his convictions. When I pretended that man was you, did I or did I not condemn him to death? Anna! Tell me! They have many miles. They've got to move soon. He was already dying. He had an incurable disease. He was a martyr for our country. Another Pikey. Hi, Jim. You're lying to me, Father. I swear. Hi, Jim. Let me have one more minute with her. I know I can convince her to come with us. There is no time. It was part of the deal. Okay. I'll let him do the talking. He's her friend. She'll trust him. Tell her. I beg her. One minute. Kill her. Somewhere safe. Where? Michael, you promised me no one would be harmed. He's your father. But what else is he? Tell me! Where is she? Why is she not coming? Listen. Listen to me, Anna, and listen carefully. Why is she not coming? I'll explain everything. About your father, and about why... why we can't let you leave here. What's the idiot? Great uncle Bulgaria. Welcome to England. You going with him? Not with me. I suppose I better go with the boss. Why not? Try not to lose her this time. Eh? I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> 